Alright, this video is a walkthrough for complete noobs to flash their programmable keyboard with QMK firmware in Mac OS. Um, there's a few videos online and they're all in Windows, so I thought I'd make a, a quick start sort of guide just to simply um, go from having um, nothing on your computer to installing the correct software and then flashing your keyboard. Um, so we'll just get straight into it. Um, there's four main steps. So the first step that you want to you want to do is to um, install Homebrew. Um, so I'm going to put all these links in the description as well. So we we'll go to this site here, and this is the Homebrew site. Basically, what you want to do is just copy and paste this uh, this here and open terminal and then paste that in the terminal. And as you can see, it wants me to hit return, and then it wants me to enter my password. Now, for the purposes of this video, I've already entered, uh, I've already installed Homebrew, so I'm not going to do it again, but just to make this video quicker. Um, so I'm going to close this, but basically you would just enter your password, and then Homebrew would finish installing. And you know that it's installed, because you'll come back to, um, you'll come back to terminal, get rid of this window, you'll come back to a terminal window where it's ready for the next command. Right, so if you want to know more about what Homebrew is, you can read about it here on this site, and that's basically it. The, the next thing you need to do is you want to, you need to run, after Homebrew is installed, you need to run these eight commands in terminal. So you run them one at a time, so this is the first one here, you basically copy, paste, and it just immediately starts doing its thing. Now, there's eight of them. Each one is, is pretty quick. There's two that take a bit longer. For instance, um, this one here took me 23 minutes, and this one here took me five minutes. Um, now, it's telling me here that, um, that that command was already installed and up to date. So, like I said, I've already done done this um, but it's it's pretty quick process and you'll know it's finished when it comes back to to be ready to run the next command as you can see here so you just um, run through each one at a time set aside about half an hour or so to to run through these and you can go away and make yourself a cup of tea and come back and wait and then run the next command so once you've run all those eight commands um, you can quit terminal and the next thing we want to do is install QMK Toolbox. So that's basically on GitHub. The application is here. You can either download the zip or the package. I'm going to download the zip. And it's quite small, so it'll be very quick. That's a zip here. All right, perfect. I'm going to open a new window and paste, uh, copy this into into my applications and then I will open it. Yep, open. Okay, there's QMK Toolbox. So just a quick note. <clears throat> you need to install Homebrew before you install uh, QMK Toolbox. I mean, you can do it, but I tried to install QMK Toolbox first and it wouldn't even open and it wasn't until I'd run all the homebrew commands that QMK Toolbox actually opened. So um, I don't know if that's the case on every operating system. I'm doing it on Mac OS Sierra. So that was certainly the case for me. I had to install homebrew before I installed QMK Toolbox. Okay. We're up to the third step now. The second step was installing QMK Toolbox, and the third step is creating a key map. Okay. So if you go to this site here, config.qmk.fm, um, you're presented with a WYSIWYG editor uh, where you can drag and drop your desired key map. You can um, create any kind of key map you want. You can put any key anywhere you like and that's one of the good things about QMK. Um, so if I wanted to have a backspace here and an enter here for instance you could do that. So basically what you want to do is you want to find the keyboard that you want to flash in this list and it'll give you a representation of the keyboard here. So for instance if we look at you know Ergodox for instance 
it'll give you a representation of what the Yerga docs look like. And if you wanted to um, load a default key map, you can click load default. And actually, that one doesn't have one. Let's try another keyboard. How about the plank? So here's the plank layout. If you click load default, it gives you the default layout for this uh, keyboard. So that's quite that's quite simple, and then you can have a, you can have a bit of fun um, working out what what kind of key map you want, how you want to lay out your your keys and your layers here. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it once you get used to it. Really, this video is just to get you up and running. So what we want to do is uh, create the key map that you like, and I'm going to um, create a key map for an Iris keyboard because I just picked one up off Mech Market. So that's basically. A, a keyboard that looks like this. It's a split ortholinear or a column staggered, I think it's uh, actually technically known as. Um, and so if I go back to configurator, I'll find my keyboard in the list. Iris, here it is. And then I get an Iris layout here. Now, um, I've already pre made a layout and I can import it. So I'll just give you a quick rundown. Um, I can click import here and I've got a uh, .json file here which I'll import. Okay. So this is one I've pre-made that I want to flash my keyboard with. Now if I wanted to make some changes for instance I could uh, click export and remember to give it a name. So for the purpose of this video I'll just call it YouTube and I'll export the key map. So it exports a .json file. So you can see that here. That's that's my uh, that's my key map file that you can use to save uh, and come back if you wanted to work on it another time. So, all right. So basically, what you do from here is once you're happy with your layout, you click compile. And doing this takes about takes about maybe 10 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds, I think, while it gathers all the necessary files. And it will actually um, give you a couple of options once this is finished uh, doing its thing. So there you go. We've now got download source and download firmware. Um, so you want to click on download firmware, and that downloads a hex file. So you can see here that it's called Iris Rev2. Uh, YouTube, which is the name of the key map that I gave it. So Rev2, if you're wondering, um, is the revision of the PCB in the keyboard. Um, you can see that it's also, there's a couple of revisions for the iris here. If you're unsure what uh, revision PCB is in your keyboard, um, then I would definitely ask questions on um, OLKB uh, subreddit. So. That's this site here. And I definitely had a few questions that I was unsure about when I was learning how to do this and I asked questions and I got pretty quick answers on, on this subreddit. So definitely ask questions here if you're unsure about that. Um, all right, so basically we've, we've created our hex file and we're ready to flash our keyboard. So what do we want to do? We want to go back to QMK Toolbox for the last step. Okay, so select your keyboard from this list. Iris. <clears throat> and you will also want to select your microcontroller. Um, if you're unsure what microcontroller your keyboard uses, then again, ask questions on OLKB. Um, and then you basically want to import your hex file. So click open, find the hex file that you made. There's, there's the YouTube uh, hex file that I just created. Import it. Okay, the last step is you want to connect your keyboard to your computer and flash it. Okay, so this is <coughs> here's, here's the iris, one half of the iris. Um, it's got a USB. I'm going to plug that into the back of my computer now. And if you, you'll be able to see what I'm doing in uh, QMK. So I'm just going to quickly fix the screen. So you can see it a bit better. Okay. 
So I'm going to plug in this USB now to the back of the, my computer. Okay, that's now connected. So, so basically what you want to do now is reset your keyboard. Once it's plugged into your computer, you want to reset your keyboard now. <clears throat> Each keyboard is uh, different with uh, with how you reset it. Like some keyboards, you might need to hold down a particular key, or you might need to press a button on the underneath of the keyboard. Which is, yeah, like the, you, if you're unsure about how to do it, I would definitely ask the person you bought the keyboard from, or um, again, OLKB. You can ask questions there. Someone will definitely answer. <clears throat> okay, so to actually reset the iris, I need to press this button here. So if you can see this button next to the USB, I'll then press it. That's it there. I'm going to press that button and watch when I press it. You'll you'll see on QMK that it will uh, connect the device. So click and it just pops up in QMK. Now there's a certain window of time before it will disconnect. There. So you see how QMK just. Uh, connected and then disconnected the keyboard. You need to click flash. You need to click flash after it connects, but before it disconnects. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. Let's flash the keyboard. Hit reset. Uh, let me get. It's a bit hard to get that in there. I clicked reset. Uh, connected. Click flash. And now it's attempting to flash. And there you go. All done. Keyboard is flashed. So with with uh, with the key map that I made, which is as you know, it's this one here that I downloaded from QMK uh, configurator site. So I hope that helps um, those of you out there with uh, a Mac and a new uh, programmable keyboard. And it's quite quite. Uh, quick and easy to get up and running if you follow those steps. So I hope that helps someone out there. And then once you get a bit more into QMK, you might get into some more advanced um, features of QMK, like uh, creating macros and um, other types of um, functionality that QMK offers. All right, thanks very much. I hope that helped. Bye.